Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We're back here with another colouring chat. We are going to continue doing the pralines from Sweet Shop by Chris Price. Um, just so you know that if you are new, this is an adult channel and we deal with adult topics when we're having our chats. It's not in any way, shape or form uh, designed for or videos that aren't, aren't made for children. Just to make you aware of that. I'm going to crack on and do some more. So, I'm looking at this thinking, what shall I do next? I think we will do some red on these bits. So, I'm just going to make it a little bit sparkly by using the gel pen. So, I don't know how long my battery is going to last. Um, but we'll go as long as we can bit of this so i hope you guys are all okay you'll be watching this on tuesday i hope you guys had a good weekend i did jennifer's birthday was lovely on friday if you watch the weekly vlog you'll have uh, seen a bit of that of her birthday and yeah she had a lovely time ebay sales are going well i had a good month last month and this month started off really well so I'm filming this on Sunday and I am posting eight tomorrow on Monday, three of which are personal sales. So um, I sold some computer games of, of Chris's, money is going into Jennifer's bank account. And then I sold a game of Rich of Paul's, again that's his money and I sold my two Project Zero games. And that's my money, and I'm going to be spending it in loveliness. I've, I mean, they are worth quite a bit, and I've got a decent amount of money for it, so I will be buying myself the Arteza Everblend Skin Tones. Yay! I'm very excited about that. I might use up my points as well, because I've got some points. I might not, I might save them up and use them on something else but yes yeah, so I'm really excited because now I can get the rest of it um, oops something on the paper there I really, really want the the skin tones. I like the skin tones that are in here, but obviously there's a lot more in the, um, I think it's 33 or 36. I'd have to check, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, that would be nice. And then with what's left over, because there will be some money left over, I might buy some books. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I've still got my Christmas money as well. I haven't spent some of that. I've still got £40 of that left to spend. And I was going to buy diamond paintings, but I'm still waiting for the one I ordered to arrive. So I'm not too... To be fair, it's been a, about a month, so it's usually six to ten weeks. Although the last one I had came really quickly. Now I know this should be really in that colour, but I'm doing it in this colour because I kind of want to. Just want a bit of colour on the page, but so yeah, I'm sad in a way that I've sold my Project Zero games because I really loved them, but I know. I'm not going to play them, so what's the point in holding on to two fairly valuable games that I'm not going to play? I might as well just send him, sell them off, get the money for them, and then have it to spend on something that I will use, because I do love the Everblend markers. And it will be nice to have the full set of skin tones. Obviously then I'm going to save up and get the, the grey tones, which I could probably afford as well, but 
I think I'll wait. I'll put that in red there. I will get the greys as well. I mean, I am honest with you, I'm not sure why I need all those greys, but there must be a reason, so I will have them. And then probably after I've done that, I'll get something different. I might get the twi markers, or I might get the pencils, I don't know yet. I wouldn't mind the pencils, to be honest, to go with them. as well. Hmm. That's that so far. So we're just doing the top end of this box now. We'll do red at the top up here as well, seeing as we're using the red. We'll be using the greens in a minute. Yes, I've got a lot of videos coming out in the next week or so. There's a very small colouring book and supplies haul. Next month's already going to be bigger because I've already got more books or I've got a couple of books already and I've got some on order which all which takes me without my Colouring Heaven subscription over the money, over the amount I have in this month's haul which is really, really short. And of course, hopefully by the end of the month I'll have my Everblend skin tones. I might not. I, I can't guarantee because I just don't know how long it's going to take for them to come. I've got to be honest now. I'm thinking I'm going to do that with a big thick one in the gold and then the thin one in the red. And then that's pretty much the top half of the box done. And then we've got some here. I haven't got all my pens here at the moment because I'm doing another picture with gel pens. I'm doing um, a pat mandala pattern thing. So I'm just going to do that one. So I'm not worried about this pen running out because I have got another set of these. Yay! So I'm just doing all the thick ones in the gold. I'll do the thinner ones in the red, that's a thick one-ish. I really do like these Link Shine pens, as I've said before, I think they're fantastic. They're just really good. The coverage is lovely, and like I said, I'm nearly, as you can see, I'm right at the end on this one. Um, right at the end, look, if you look, if it'll focus, yeah, just about, the ink's right up here, so, but like I said, I have got another set, I don't really want to break them open, but if I need this gold, I will, like I said, once it gets halfway through, because it is so cheap, they are so cheap, I will just order another packet, so there's going to be several months when you see me haul a packet of these link shines and then another month you might not see me haul any because it depends because I don't always use glitter gel pens I use them a lot but I don't always use them so I'm using them on this and I'm using some glitter pens on a mandala but they're the ones I'm using that they're over there already on this pattern and it's just I'm just dumping colour on it literally I, it's, there's no plan on it it's just me it's just me relaxing and just colouring it in when I'm watching telly um, I'm working on my whips I'm going to try and finish at least one of the whips I've got and I've had on the go for a while um, and I'm trying to finish off the one from Romantic Country Part 2 I sadly haven't got three and it is out of print, but if it ever came back in print, I'd get it. I wouldn't pay a fortune for it. It just happened to be that I just never got around to it and unfortunately it's out of, out of print. But you never know. 
it might end up back in print with any luck. So I think this one's just about done, almost. It even looks like a different gold. It's a bit lighter, but I think that's just because it's running out. Oh yeah, right, dead pen. I am gonna save up on my dead pens this year to see how many I actually did, particularly gel pens. Um, I'll just find the packet and there's a pair of scissors here somewhere. So I've got all my stuff for my business on here as well. And I've seen the pair of scissors here earlier. Because I thought, oh, there goes my glasses. And there's a pair of scissors. Bottom. Oh dear, it's all gone. Just so I can cut into this new bag of Link Shine pens. And that's a good thing when this when these run out, I can just get the next one out and start again. That's why I'll, I'll probably get another packet of these this month. If not this month, it'll be definitely, oops, excuse me, definitely in March. There we go. There you go. Oh, that's a lot better, isn't it? It's a lot darker. It's the same colour. It's just darker because it's not running out. So if you look, it looks a lot more like the colour up here. is part of it although it's going to go red soon let's just move that along so you can see what I'm doing so yeah I do like these pens and I'm definitely going to stock on, up on them before Christmas I mean they're from a third party provider but they do come with free shipping so they can't be making much money on these because they're selling for around three pounds something and shipping's got to be around 80p if not more they would go as a, a large letter in the uk post so because we're a small country we don't have post zones we just have different sizes so i mean like, i get in the states you have like different zones because you're such a big country which makes sense um, but obviously that does tend to make it a bit more complicated. In the UK, it's just all, if it's UK, it's all the same. It's either a letter, a large letter, a small parcel, a medium parcel, or you get onto parcel full sizes, which is um, the Royal Mail Courier Service. I've never sent anything by parcel fulls. I don't tend to send, sell big, big items. I tend to sell smaller items. I have sell, sold a medium parcels, but mostly mine's either large letters or small parcels. So. so the two games I've got, I think are going as a, a large letter, as a small parcel. Games normally go as a large letter. Um, and yeah. So. I think our postal system is a little bit less confusing, maybe. Because we don't, like I said, we don't have all the zones. Like you have zones for different states, whereas obviously we're such a small country compared to you guys over in the States that we don't need zones. We just like, yeah. So I've done some eBay today, I've put some listings live. I don't normally work on the weekend, but because I had Friday off as well, I thought I'd better do some listing, even though I've had quite a good lot of sales this weekend. I thought I'd better do some. And I've measured six items ready to list five tomorrow, and they're already drafted. i just got to put the measurements in and stuff like that. And then I'll be doing I get home from work tomorrow. Uh, well, I finish work. Jennifer's at Nana and Granddad's, so I'll go and pick up, drop the post off, and then I'll go and have lunch at my mum's and get Jennifer, take her home. And if she wants a nap, she can have one. If she doesn't, that's fine. But if she has a nap, even if she doesn't, she'll sit and watch TV. And I can usually pot around and do stuff and I can go and photograph some items. I'm always listening for her if I'm not in the room. She's in a cot, she's in a playpen, she's safe, but I'm only out of the room for like maybe like a 
couple of seconds at a time. So I'm like, photograph, right downstairs, quick check, Jennifer's okay, photograph, Jennifer's okay. If she's asleep, then obviously I let her get on with it and leave her in peace. But I, you know, it's no different than me being down there and her being upstairs asleep. If she's asleep, I got the monitor on if I need it. You know, it's on. No, generally I can hear her in our house, even if I haven't got the monitor. Our house is not that big. Um, and I'm just so tuned to her. As soon as she wakes up, I know. We'll have an, a nice uh, afternoon play if necessary. But I'll try and photograph a few items if I can. I bought four on Thursday. I was going to buy some. I was going to have a good look around the charity shops on Saturday, but Jennifer was not having any of it. She was kicking off big time. And not because she was didn't want to be out and about. She did. She just didn't want to be in a, a pushchair. She wanted to be out walking. So she held Mummy's hand and we walked around Newport together. And she held on tight. And she is a good girl like that, mind. I must admit, if I tell her to hold my hand, she holds my hand. She does not let go. Which is good, really. That bit done. Now I'm just going to use a bit more gold. I've seen a bit where I missed a bit somewhere. Where is it? There it is. There we go. There we are. So that's that bit done. So that's the top of the box. Pretty much finished now. There you go. It looks, looks really vintage. I like it. So we're going to go down to the bottom part of the box now. And yeah, I'm a little bit wondering what to do on the bottom of the box. I know I can do a bit of grey around the edges and some of that nice pink. This again will be all metallic stuff, so I'm not worried about that. Um, this would be paper, so that's going to have to be a light colour. So it would be like a, a white or a grey. And then the chocolates would be different shades of browns and creams. So yum. Making me hungry. I just put my gel pens and my, my glitter pens and my winter cells away. I mean, I, I enjoyed colouring last month and I, I love doing the Hannah Lynn stuff. I have started a Hannah Lynn for this month, but on, um, uh, I used clear water, didn't I, before? Yeah. In uh, one of the Colouring Heaven books, it's the steampunk colouring book, they had a Hannah Lynn exclusive. And I'm doing that one of those. There was something like 15 exclusive designs in the um, Colour in Heaven Steampunk book. So I am doing one of those exclusive ones. I'm doing the uh, it's a Sherlock Holmes. She's dressed up as Sherlock Holmes type. Um, figure, steampunk figure, um, but I've only done her face at the moment and her goggles. But it's something I'm going to take my time on over the month and I'm using the Prisma colours. So it's not something I'm going to rush. I might do some tomorrow. Um, it, dep it depends. It's when I've got the time. So at the moment I'm doing my, my videos. I'm making as many as I can. I mean, obviously colouring chats I do as the week goes on because it's, I need new stuff to talk about. Um, but generally, I'm just, you know, making videos, you know, like flip throughs and I've done the hauls. I've got my completed, um, everything I've ever coloured coming soon and my entire colouring book collection up to January 2020 so that's everything except for the books um, that you see in the hall in January's hall so those will be coming out in the next week um, I have made a few 
flip throughs. I, I gotta be honest, I tend to only put the flip throughs up when I'm out of other stuff. So for instance, if I have a week where I can't film to ensure there's stuff going up on the channel, I do put the flip throughs up. I still try and do colouring charts. But of course, it's only at the end of the month that we have the completed colouring pages. We only, only at the end of the month that we have the hauls. Um, I am going to do my first colouring grayscale because I think you might find that interesting. You might just laugh, but you might find it interesting. Was it pale peach or was it? Pe I think it was peaches. Was it peaches and cream or was it pale peach we used? No, I can't actually remember. Let's have a quick look. I would say looking at it is peaches and cream. I keep turning on the light on my uh, magnifying glass. Definitely peaches and cream. Pale peach is far too pale. Peaches and cream. Even if it's not, it's still a nice colour and it, it won't look too bad. So. Right now my battery is dying and uh, we're at 21 minutes. I'm going to stop, change the battery and I'll be right back. There we go, fresh battery. So I have got actually got four batteries for this camera. So I'm just going to put uh, the one we just finished using on charge. Oops, up a bit. Oh, it's out of focus. Here we go. Even if that is the wrong colour, it looks right. So, we'll do this bit now here. So, this is going to take us a while to do, but I'm really enjoying it. It's quite relaxing. It is quite relaxing. I'm just using the gold and the red and the, the sort of a brownie colour for the writing as well. It's quite nice. And then... I've wanted to colour in this book for a while but I found it quite intimidating so I was a bit wary, wary of it so but I'm really glad I am now and I might even when I get some thinner markers use thinner markers in it as well like the fine liners can be used maybe um, I don't have many fine I do have a pack of fine liners but I've not really used them yet that's another video I want to make at some point along with colouring in uh, grayscale um, which is on my list I've got a list of videos that I need to make and the grayscale one is, is one of them and I will be colouring in uh, a book that's in my haul which is Jade Summer Chibi Girls Grayscale two books in one so it's one in one and two I would imagine so yeah I'm nervous but I'm looking forward to it and I'm just going to use the Everblends um, and we'll just see how it goes you know we'll see how it goes and if it, it goes well it goes well and if it doesn't it's an experiment we're, we're learning I'm learning all the time so as far as I'm concerned let's learn together and see what we can do as working I mean I saw um, Anne colouring the fairies book with her markers um, and it looked really good on the grey scale, the Jade Summer grey scale. So I'm going to give it a go. And I know what picture I'm going to be colouring. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah. So I'm just colouring in the box. Yeah, I think this is a slightly different pink, but I think it looks, it works quite well. That'll learn me not to write down the colours, but hey, you know what? I don't mind. It still looks nice. 
probably was the pale peach we used, but I'm, like I said, I'm not worried. I'm quite enjoying it. I think it looks quite nice, that pink. And then again, it might dry, dry completely differently and it, it looks like that color, but on here, but it doesn't to my eyes, but then who knows? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all fun, right? Right. So I have been reading. I do want to do a little bit of a reading wrap up for January because I read five books, which for me is pretty good. Um, but it means facing the camera, which means putting makeup on. And I never be bothered to do that. I don't do that. As you can see, I don't often. I do face the camera quite a bit, obviously, when we're doing the um, the weekly vlog, but. Uh, now, what colour shall we use? Ooh, look at that top. Shall we use the peachy peachy? For the paper, we're going to use, we use the peach. So it's a little bit darker, and I am using the chisel for this, just to speed it up a bit. I like this book. And as you know, I love these pens. <laughs> so you can see got little things on there and they would be just normally white chocolate or maybe some icing. But this is just the paper that they're sitting in. I might put some gel pen on there to make it look a bit prettier. could say that colouring with the markers is quicker, it is, but um, I'm trying to be a little bit slower, I'm trying to make it look as nice as I can because I really do like this book. And I do like these markers. I think these markers are the best thing I've bought in a long time. Um, don't get me wrong, I love my pencils. I love my Prisma colours. I love my Colour Soft and my Polychromos. My Black Widows, all of them. I love them all. But I just really like these markers. One thing I've noticed though, I don't have the dark tones, what they call dark skin tones from Black Widow and they're not on Amazon UK anymore. I had a quick look and I couldn't see them. So I don't know what's happened to them, whether they're gone for good or they're just off at the moment. I know that they are bringing out, apparently, and this has been rumoured for a while, a set of 48 and apparently the estimated date is April but what they're going to be and apparently they're supposed to be 48 new colours I don't know whether it's true but we'll have to wait and see you now to be fair I like the Black Widow so more colours are always welcome always welcome in my opinion I mean, when you've got sets, you know, at the moment they're at 96, even though I can't get the dark tones. I'm going to have to message them to find out what's happening with those, I think. I'd like to do it tomorrow when we're into business hours, you know, business days. And see what I can find out. Because I would like to get them, if I can, to complement the ones I've already got. That. But I was, I was going to more than say something like that. Oh, no, they're not there. So I'm like, really? 
colour, definitely isn't the colour we used before. Must have been peaches and green. Definitely a lot lighter than that one. Now I know that they are sitting on some paper. This is just part of the box, I think. So in a minute. Colour the paper in a nice, beautiful, rich purple. So, I find in these posh chocolates, they use something like purple paper to sit them on. It's usually a really nice, nice colour. Mm, 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 it's making me hungry actually. Let me just have a quick look at my purples. Royal purple's a bit too dark. I think we'll go with violet. There's violet. So we're just going to do the background in here. So it's not going to be long, to be honest. We've done 30 minutes. We'll do another few minutes. And hopefully this will, will dry a bit lighter. In the way this is turning out, I am actually. I like this. I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out. I hope you really like, I hope you're enjoying this video. The chocolates are going to be interesting, but obviously they're going to be mostly different shades of brown because chocolates generally are. Some of them ha would have like sugar on top and maybe I'll use like grey. Um, there isn't a white in here. I do have a white gel pen I could possibly use. Um, just on some decorations and things but so far I am liking this it's looking nice and hopefully it won't take us too long to get it finished I think it'll be one more episode because I think I'm probably gonna make it a bit shorter today and stop after I'll finish this because I need these backgrounds because I do need a drink and then the last one part three will be all the rest of it so it will be all the, the chocolates and the glitter gel pens we're on about 33 minutes at the moment which is not bad I might do the fine gold medal writing I might do Let's see what the time is when we get to that bit. So. But yeah, life's pretty good. Apart from this cough that's just not disappearing. I, I'm feeling better. I'm, tr I'm drained. I'm very tired all the time. Obviously, I'm not in bed. I mean, it's only, what time is it now? It's 20 to 11, so it's getting to bedtime for me. I can't go to bed too early because if I go to bed really early I wake up like at four o'clock and I can't go to sleep so I'm better off staying up later and doing this than going to bed at half nine ten and then waking up at four o'clock and being awake and just getting up early and if I got up early I wouldn't make a video I'd be afraid of disturbing Paul, although he probably would sleep through it because he's a pretty heavy sleeper when he sleeps but he's not been well either he's got this cold Jennifer's fine she's still got a bit of a cough 
but nothing like mine. Mine's been terrible. Oh, I hate it. I hate having a cough. And it's not going, and I'm back to work tomorrow. Still, never mind. We plod on with our uh, daily job, which pays the bills, our eBay, which is our savings, and our YouTube, which is generally just for fun. So yes, if you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm glad to have you with me. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really do. And don't forget that if you're on Facebook, I do have a very small colouring group over there called Andrea's Attic Colouring Group. If you want to join, please just send me a request. More than likely, I will accept it. There are some questions to ask. If I know you, I'll just accept you anyway. But if you want to answer the questions, you certainly can. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I like the questions. It's just something like, what's your favourite artist? And what is your favourite thing to colour with? So, it's not that one. Is it the other one? Or was it that one? No, it was that one. So I'm just going to type in colour in the fine gold medal and the little sweets along the edge which is going to be done in the same colour and then that'll do for tonight because we'll then be nearly at 40 minutes and I think that's long enough I know sometimes I go on for over an hour I might use a lighter colour if I can find it because these are quite, this is quite dark looks nice for the little sweets though So yes, please come and join me over at Andrea's Attic Callum Group and please post any photos of anything you're working on. So if you're on Facebook, you can either, you know, send me a friend request or just go and join the group, it's up to you. Um, if you send me a friend request, just let me know that I know you from YouTube. Um, and that'll be fine. But yeah, please join the group. It'd be nice to have a, a few pictures that aren't just mine posted in there. Um, I also have an Instagram, but I only, I, I don't just post colouring on there. I tend to post all sorts on there, so it's my personal account. But uh, that's, I think it's Andy P seven underscore 74. But if you just go in and... You can look for me under a, a whimsical 2020 and find the picture of um, Rosie the Riveter we did. That's on there. You can find me that way. I also have Twitter, but I very rarely use it. I don't have um, Snapchat. I've never really understood that, so. But Facebook, I mean, obviously I'm on Facebook, so please come and join us. Uh, join me over there now. Have I got that lighter brown or is it over in my other stash of pens? Is it this one? I think it might be this one, actually. Oh, it's this one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'll go back in there as well. So we're just gonna finish this a bit now where it says fine gold medal. And then in the next episode, we will finish, hopefully, it all off. We should do, we should, even, if it's a, even if it's a bit longer episode and we go over an hour, we'll, um, we'll do it. This is quite a nice colour. This is getting a bit late and I do want to get to bed soon. I'm getting thirsty. I forgot to bring a drink over. Normally I have a drink. But today I forgot it. So I am currently watching all your videos. If you are a YouTuber who posts colouring videos, I'm currently watching the completed pages and my favourite, the hauls, so I can see what books some people are buying. Because um, sometimes that is how I find books I want. I look at a haul and somebody's got something, I think, oh, I want that book. I like that picture, I'm going to get that book. And I, I just go and get it. So they are definitely worth watching the haul videos. They're very popular. I find the haul videos get a lot of views. So yeah, Jennifer, when we walk around town, she had this great big smug smile on her face and say, I'm walking. <laughs> yes, and mummy's got hold of you. She likes walking. She really likes walking. 
There we go. I am going to call it a day there because I'm very thirsty. And I need to pack all the stuff away. So let's have a look at how we're, our box of pralines is looking. Let's zoom out. There we go. It's looking rather smart. It's very vintage, very pale looking. That's what we wanted. Because um, it is a vintage style. They are very vintage style books. That's another nice one. <gasps> but it, it's very vintagey. I want the Curiosity Shop, which is also by Chris Price. So it is looking very nice. It looks like a very nice vintage box of chocolates. So when we come back and the next um, colour and chat, we'll do the chocolates and we'll do all this Celtic knot work. And we'll do it in red and gold because that's the colour we've been using up here. So we'll carry on using those same two colours. Just keeps it looking very nice. So, um, But we'll do the chocolates first and then we'll move down to this section where we do the... Um, gel pen I lo I'm liking this I hope you've enjoyed this um, uh, colour and chat with me um, like I said come along and join the Andrea's Attic colouring group on Facebook I'll post a link below um, if you've enjoyed this so far leave me a comment down below um, subscribe hit the notification bell but most of all just enjoy it and just you know enjoy colouring it's, it's just about enjoyment it's about having fun and that's why I want these videos to be I mean I'm not feeling the best but I'm enjoying making them and that's why I will continue to make them so I will see you all in the next colouring chat soon you will of course have some pre-recorded videos prior to that so I've got my haul come in I've got all my colouring pages come in I've got all my completed colouring books, all my completed colouring pages, all my colouring books come in, some flip throughs. I'm going to be filming the Chibi Girls very, very soon as well, which is me doing grey scales, and that'll be fun. I'll see you all soon. Take care now. Bye.